Hi there, Jackie Flynn here from Counseling in Brevard. Have you ever wondered what makes a healthy relationship? Well, the Gottman Institute brings us decades of research that really pinpoints what makes a strong relationship. This is the Sound Relationship House. And as with any house, you want to make sure you have strong walls. So the walls of the house, the commitment and the trust in a relationship are so very important. So when couples come to me, if those two areas are breached, that is the first thing that we work on. And we can really assess what areas are in need through an assessment that we start off with called the relationship checkup. It really helps us pinpoint what the strengths are in the relationship and what areas may be weak so that when they come into therapy, we're not just randomly throwing something at the wall and hoping it sticks. So the commitment and trust are the most important things in the relationship. And as you can see in this nice graphic, the middle of the house is really comprised of several different layers that also are essential in a healthy relationship. The foundation is building love maps, really knowing each other's world. And that's something so very small and insignificant that feels like it gets looked over many times in relationships. Just knowing those little things about your partner. What is their favorite color or what kind of ice cream do they like? What's a childhood memory that they um, like? Or what's one of their goals and aspirations? Just truly knowing your partner. And if this area is weakened in the relationship, we have direct interventions that help support it. And as well as out of therapy, um, things are uh, talk to the clients to where they can build up that foundation as well. The next one, really just building um, that shared fondness and admiration. A lot of couples that come to me, they love each other, but they don't necessarily like each other. They really, really get on each other's nerves. So we implement different patterns of communication that really allow them to share their fondness and admiration uh, for each other and help them feel valued from each other. That can be very profound. It can change their quality of life. Now their next, the next level of the sound relationship house, turning towards instead of away, that one is just a little tweak that can make a huge difference. That's having the, just the physical, I'm facing you when I'm talking to you, I'm not in my phone or my computer. And also the literal, when things come up, do I call you, do I lean in and tell you things in my life that are personal? Now it's interesting, those three bottom floors, the building love maps, sharing fondness and admiration and turning towards, those are really the floors that really are conducive to healthy intimacy in the relationship. The emotional and the physical connection, if those floors are damaged or weakened in any way, often you will see intimacy issues in the relationship. Also, the next one is the positive perspective. Some couples that come to me, they're in what Gottman calls a negative sentiment override. They may have a chip on their shoulder. They may uh, hear their partner say, I love you, or you know, I'm doing this for you, and take it totally as a negative out of context, just based on prior hurts and pains in the relationship. So that's something we address specifically if that is occurring. The next one is managing conflict. And it's really important to know that you have to have conflict in a relationship. Couples that are conflict uh, avoidant, they're actually at more risk for betrayal because they're not leaning in and working on the things that they need to work on. So in therapy, couples learn how to have healthy conflict, how to have those uh, soft startups, how to listen to each other, how to accept each other's influence, how to resolve in a way that each person gets their needs met. It can be very profound when a couple learns how to argue. And uh, one thing that the research uncovered for us was that out of all of the conflict in the relationship, 69% of the conflict is perpetual. So that looks like couples that argue about the same thing over and over again. For some couples, it may be parenting. For others, it may be finances. Some couples, it may be sex. Another couple, it may be their in-laws relationship. When they argue about the same thing over and over again, we look at that through an intervention called Dreams Within Conflict and really look at ways of discussing that that are healthier and help to get to the root of it so that it's not one of those things that ends up breaking the the relationship down. Now the next two floors of the relate sound relationship house are very important. I've seen this in itself change a marriage from um, going uh, towards um, ending it to saving it. The making life dreams come true, really honoring that 
that your partner has uh, life dreams and supporting that in whatever way that you can. And the top one, creating shared meaning, doing things together, even if it's small things. It's interesting that Gottman found out through this research that it's not the big things that really makes a relationship strong. It's a culmination of the little things, the day-to-day -day things. He has this concept of the relationship bank account. And just like as in any bank account, you want to make sure you have way more deposits than withdrawals in relationships. The research showed that you need five times as many positives as negatives, which that sounds pretty morbid, but knowing that really can help couples culminate a culture of really being able to add to the relationship and get that balance up so that when the when the cuts and the hurts and the pains happen that they have enough to cover it in that relationship bank account and they accept influence from each other one thing that's really um, a biggie as well is the bids for connection when one partner makes a bid for connection is it accepted by the other partner um, and if they're rejected bid for connection which means like reaching out out to hold a hand or saying hey look at that house isn't it pretty just those little moments when they accept those bits for connection or grabbing a phone call or, or you know would you like to have lunch with me those things can make a world of difference so through this type of therapy we really do a thorough approach we have a ton of interventions that address everything that shows up as a uh, problematic in the sound relationship house as well as we identify the strengths so that couples are really aware of what's going right in the relationship so they can continue doing that Thank you so much for listening. Again, I'm Jackie Flynn from Counseling in Brevard, and you can find me at my website, counselinginbrevard.com, or you can reach me at 321-544-2743. Many of my clients benefit from flexible scheduling. They may have a, a busy work schedule or just having children at home. It's hard to get that child care. So I do offer online session. Sometimes I have evening openings after the children go to bed so that you can have the therapy that you really can help you have a healthy, happy, sound relationship um, even amidst, amidst those scheduling issues. Thank you. Take care.